Tuka Joe here. This one's in English. I'm going to do a type of video that I always make when I return from a wargaming convention. Recently, I visited Spain, specifically the city of Badajoz, to attend the fifth Bellota Con. This is a wargaming convention that I have been uh, going since 2019. Went that year, also in 2020, and now in 2022 to the fifth Bellotacon, and it was great to see my friends, to see the games that were being developed, and the games that are being play tested at the Bellotacon, and also to take a look at games that have been published recently, which had been tested and played in prior editions of the Bellotacon. So I had a great time. I uploaded a lot of live stream videos. And after Badajoz, I visited Madrid, and there I went to a store uh, called Juegos Atlantica. There I took a picture with one of my subscribers, and also I purchased some war games there. So today I will be showing you the games that I brought from the Bellota and also the ones that I purchased at the store at Madrid. So let's see. And the first group of games are the ones from the Bellota Con. Here we see La Guerra de la Triple Alianza, the War of the Triple Alliance. This is a game designed by Pedro Iñaki Martinez and published by NAC War Games last year. And NAC War Games is a subsidiary of Masqueoca and it started operations last year and it is publishing war games, uh, mostly published by Spanish designers. This is the first war game published by a Spanish designer published last year. I had the pleasure and opportunity to meet Pedro Iñaki at the third Bellotacon in 2020. He showed me the game then and also he sent to me the PDF files with which I assembled a copy and I made a video on the game. So it is a really nice to see that the game has been finally published by NAC. This is a two-player game about a conflict that is known very little in wargaming. And there are very few war games about this conflict. The other only game I know is one designed by Javier Romero, published by Strategy and Tactics magazine. Like all games from NAC, the game comes in English and Spanish. The cards also come in Spanish and English, and here even the map has two sides, a Spanish and English side map. Here we can see a sample of the counters that look very nice and the cards. The cards in this game have victory points. This is not a card driven game, but the cards have effects and provide victory points. In addition, here we see the map at the back of the box and the components, how they look on the map. This is a game for two players, strategic level, and with a difficulty level of one. So this is a good game to bring new people to wargaming. It's also short in duration. It plays in about two or three hours. I will be making a video about the extended example of play that is found in the rulebook of the War of the Triple Alliance, La Guerra de la Triple Alianza, designed by Pedro Iñaki Martinez and published by NAC War Games. Next is La Carga de los Tres Reyes, The Charge of the Three Kings. This is a game about the Battle of the Navas of Tolosa, 2012, published by NAC War Games. This game was published recently and is sold out. The designer here is Carlos Diaz Narvaez and the graphics are by Ivan Cáceres. And this is a game that I had a chance in 2019 at the Peyota there when it was being tested and played there and none other than Volko Runke played the game at the second Peyota Con. And here you see some footage. And this is a game that is a hex encounter game. All NAC games bring instructions in English and Spanish. And you can see that it has very nice counters. And let's take a closer look at the counters. There's counters for units and leaders. 
And the game also includes cards, but it's not a card-driven game. Here we see some of the cards. The cards have events summarized in them with game effects. We see here that the scale of complexity, it is a mid-level game, three in the scale of one to five in a tactical game. And this game is made in Spain. And I will be making a video about this game, about examples of play. This is La Carga de los Tres Reyes, The Charge of the Three Kings, designed by Carlos Diaz Narvaez and published by NAC War Games. Another game published recently is this one, The World at War Europe. This is a game designed by Gonzalo Santa Cruz and published by Headquarter Games and Wisdom Owl. This is a strategic World War II game that recreates the conflict in Europe from the start, 1939 to 1945. And this is a game that I also had a chance to take a look in 2020 at the Bellota Con when Gonzalo was testing it there. And here you see some images that I took from that convention. This game uses cubes to signify the armies of each of the countries, as you see here in the back of the box. It also includes technological events, production, as well as the air war. And here we see the scenarios, Poland, France, Barbarossa, Overlord, and the campaign game. This is a game of medium complexity from one to three players. So this is the World at War Europe, designed by Gonzalo Santa Cruz and published by Headquarter Games. Another game I brought from the Bellota is this small game, Scope Stalingrad, designed by Juan A. Nacher and published by Draco Ideas. This is a card game about sniper teams during the Battle of Stalingrad in World War II. As you can see here, the, let's say, map is composed of the same cards. Each player represents a group of snipers trying to eliminate their opponents before they get killed. And this is a game that is very simple and plays fast and is ideal for uh, playing at late hours during a heavy day of convention play. So when you have little time left, this makes for a great uh, time to play this game. So I'll be making a video about this game, Scope Stalingrad from Juan A. Nacher, published by Dracuideas. Next is a game that comes in a magazine. And this is a magazine I knew nothing about until then. This is Alea Magazine, number 36 from the fourth era. And this corresponds to March 2021. The game included is Cuestión de Honor, a matter of honor, Anual 1921. The reason I was interested in this game is because during the Bellota Con, there was a game that was being tested about the Riff campaign, Tributo de Sangre. And I had a chance to interview the designer, Luis Raul Negrete Leal. He was testing the game and he recommended to me this book, El Desastre de Anual, The Anual Disaster by Gerardo Muñoz Lorente. And I'm reading it, it is very interesting and I wanna keep a close eye at the development of Tributo de Sangre. But for now, we have this game about the Battle of Anual, Cuestión de Honor, a matter of honor. And this is a game designed by Chema Rando. And as stated before, it is published in Alea magazine. Here we see the back of the magazine. You can see it's a hex and counter game. It looks nice, the counters also look nice. So we will be making at least one video about this game. It looks like a game of low complexity. And I hope that this uh, brings more interest into this conflict that is practically unknown over here in the Americas. This is Cuestión de Honor, designed by Chema Rando, published by Alea Magazine. At the Bellota, there was a sweepstakes, and I won this game, 262, published by 
TNS, Tactica and Strategia. This is a Polish game company. This is a low complexity game about air combat in the later stages of World War II in Europe. And here we see the back of the box. We see uh, 262s, P-51s, P-47s. We see B-17Gs and even a B-24. And this game includes rules in Spanish, Catalan, English, and of course, Polish. So I will be making at least one unboxing video about this game. 262, published by Tactica and Strategia. And at the Peyota Con, there were being games played that have not been published, like this one. Downfall of the Third Reich. This is a strategic World War II game to be published by Do It Games, and its designer is Victor Catala. There were four tables of people playing this game. Always people playing this game looks like a very fun game, which can be played in one sitting, and it covers the war from 1940 to 1945. And it can be played with two or three players. Here we see the back of the box. It has an area map. It looks very nice. And here we see the playing pieces, as we can see here. They represent armies. These can be regular armies represented by a soldier icon or armored armies represented by tanks. There's also counters representing air assets as well as supply. And the rectangular tiles that you see here are technologies that have an impact, which improve the quality of your armed forces. This is a game that players use action points, which are limited, and players must make decisions based on these points. And they never have enough points to take all the decisions they want. So when a player wants to uh, improve the quality of their tanks with advanced technology, maybe they, they have to bring new units onto the board. So the development of their tanks gets delayed. And this game is going to be published through a Kickstarter campaign that begins on February 28th. And together with this game, Do It Games will also uh, kickstart Downfall of Empires, a game similar in mechanics to this one, but about World War I. So this is Downfall of the Third Reich, to be published by Do It Games and designed by Victor Catala. Now I'm going to show you the games that I purchased at Juegos Atlantica in Madrid. The first game is a game that has been published by Hexasim, The Fate of Raiders. Five Battles of the French Wars of Religion, 1562 to 1598, designed by Philippe Hardy. And this game appears to be part of a series called by Shot, Shock and Faith game series. So I purchased it first because I don't have any game about this conflict, nor this series. And this is a series game and a quad game. So you learn the rules and you can play four or five battles, which is the number of battles that this particular game brings. So it is that type of a game that I like. You get a, a lot of bang for the buck. Here we see the back of the box, the map. It's an area map. Here we see the counters. They look very nicely done also. So this is a game that uh, I will be making at least an unboxing video. This is The Fate of Raiders from Hexasim, designed by Philippe Hardy. The next game that I purchased at the store is this one, Adowa, End of an African Dream. This is a game about the famous battle where the uh, Ethiopians crushed an Italian army in 1896. This is a game published by Asies Edizioni. This is an Italian game company. 
and I'm interested in this game because of the topic, and uh, I don't have any game from this particular company either. So when I saw the game, I was interested, and I got it. And here we see some of the counters, and uh, they look interesting. And we can also see below a picture of the map. So this is a game of medium complexity. Solitaire suitability is two of five, so there appears to be some hidden elements. But we will be doing a video on this game, Adowa, End of an African Dream, published by Asias Edizioni. Another game that I purchased at the store is this smaller one, Maki. This is a game designed by Jake Staines, published by Melmac Games. And uh, this is a game that interested me because of the topic. It is a uh, game that brings a small board and counters, and it is a solitaire game. It lasts from 20 to 30 minutes. I had seen some videos about the game, and uh, when I saw it at the store, I, pick it, I picked it up. I like games about the French Resistance, and this appears to be also a lighter game that can be played very quickly at the end of a convention day. It's always good to have these kind of games. So I'll be also making a video on this game, Maki, designed by Jake Staines, published by Melmac Games. Finally, at the store, I purchased this game, Santander 37. This is a game designed by Javier Romero, a folio game. And this is a game that appears to be part of a series, Small Battles. This is number two. And the publishers is Snafu. I've never had any game from this publisher. And I was interested in instantly because I really like Spanish Civil War games designed by Javier Romero. I have a lot of his games. And let's see here the back of the folio. It's a hex encounter game. The graphics look nice. I like the artwork. So I'll be doing a video about this game. And as a bonus, I'll show you another game. And this is a game that I did not bring from Spain at all when I arrived at Puerto Rico. This game was waiting for me. And this is World at War, and the game is Balkans 1944. This is the latest issue of World at War. And why am I showing you this? Because this game, Balkans 1944, is a game that is also designed by Javier Romero. And Javier Romero is a designer that I would love to interview. He has a lot of games under his belt, different kinds of games, different eras. So this is a game on a part of World War II that there's not a lot of games of. The Balkans in the last year of the war. So here are all the games that I brought from Spain. The games that I brought from the 5th Bellotacón in Badajoz and the ones that I purchased at Juegos Atlántica in Madrid. So if you have played any of these games, let me know what you think of them. And as I always say, this is Stuka Joe, signing off for now. Thanks for watching.